Hello friends, yet another amazing profit and loss short trick and this time I am going to take up a problem uh, which is nearly unavoidable in quantitative aptitude uh, tests and uh, this question which I have written on the board this has already been asked in one of the competitive exams. Students of uh, class 7th and 8th they solve these type of questions through the traditional approach and we tend to follow the same approach in competitions also thereby consuming a lot of time and uh, you know time matters the most in competitions. So uh, let me just uh, tell you what the problem is then I'll show you the traditional approach also not the uh, detailed approach but the stepwise traditional approach and then we will try and solve uh, these two questions using the shortest possible method uh, which is available to us. So let's see the question first. Now there are two items which are having the same selling price. Now see in this case we have two bikes which are sold for Rs 25,250 each. And in this second question also we have two televisions which are sold for Rs 18,000 each. So this is the first uh, condition of the question that there are two items and they are sold for the same price. Okay, so uh, in the problem, uh, there are some conditions. The first condition is same SP, same SP of both items, both items. What is the second condition? Let's study the questions and then we will get to know what is common in the two questions. See, there is 15% profit on first and 10% loss on second. And here we have there is 25% profit on first and 25% loss on other. Now this is the second uh, thing. There is profit on one and loss on the other. Profit on one and loss on other. Now that is the second condition of the question. Is there anything else? Find the net profit or loss percent find the net profit or loss person. So the uh, required thing is same. And uh, what is uh, different in these two questions? See here we have 15% uh, profit and 10% loss. Whereas in this case we have 25% profit and 25% loss. So either profit percent is not equal to loss percent or it is equal to loss percent. So these are the three things we need to observe in these two questions. And now let us see what is the traditional approach of solving these questions. So this is the traditional approach. Now in the traditional approach, uh, there are two items and it is sold for 25,250 each. So what do we do? We find the SP of two items. I am talking about total SP, total SP of two items that is 2 multiplied by the SP of one item. So that is the first step. Then we find the CP of first item. If it is profit then we have to use the different formula of cost price and if it is loss then we have to use the different formula. And what is the formula? It is SP into 100 upon 100 plus profit percent. This is the formula in case of profit and likewise CP of the second item that is SP into 100 upon 100 minus loss percent. So this is to be found out then this second step and th third step. So three steps already and then once we know the cost prices of the two items then we add them to get the total cost price of the two items total CP of two items so we can just add these two and get to our uh, answer of the total cost price now after having seen uh, the total selling price and the total cost price we can just uh, find out whether there is profit or loss and accordingly we have to find profit or loss by subtracting them so net profit or loss so net profit percent or loss percent is obtained by profit or loss 
upon total SP, total CP into 100. Now that's the traditional approach of solving this question. Quite lengthy and especially when it involves decimals and it involves fractions, then obviously things get complicated. Now the traditional approach is very good at uh, you know school level where the students are given marks for writing the steps but in competitions in case of multiple choice questions you are not bothered about how many steps are involved in solving this question you have to get to the answer first so if you have knowledge of a very short method a one step method of solving this question then obviously it is going to work out wonders for you in uh, all types of quantitative aptitude exams so let's see how we can solve these two questions using the short trick. Now I'm telling you the short trick to solve this question. Both the questions that is without using the traditional approach. Now for the first question, uh, this is short trick for uh, question 1 and this is short trick for question 2. Uh, believe it or not, question number 2 is much more simpler. Why? Because here profit and loss are equal. But in case of unequal profit and loss, the approach is slightly different. So, we need to remember the short trick for both the cases. Now, let us see the first one first. Now, in the first one, we have 15% profit and 10% loss. So, the formula for uh, direct... Um, you know direct uh, approach of finding the net profit or loss percent so this is net profit or loss percent is now one thing is for sure the answer which will come out it will either be in positive or negative if the answer is in positive then we have profit percent and if the answer is in negative then we have loss percent so we don't uh, uh, know whether there is profit percent loss or loss percent we need to calculate this and see the sign to uh, have the exact estimate of profit or loss. Now, for the short trick, just multiply 100 by the difference of profit and loss. So, I will write it as profit minus loss. And then, from this, you subtract twice the product of profit and loss. And you need to add two things in the denominator. I told you... In the cost price, you have 100 plus per profit percent in the denominator and uh, in the cost price of second item, we have loss. So, we have in the denominator 100 minus loss percent. So, these two quantities 100 plus P and 100 minus L that is to be added together in the denominator. So, 100 plus P and 100 minus L. So, these are to be added. Now, let us see whether we can find the answer of the first question using this approach because uh, question 1 we have unequal profit and loss so in case of unequal profit and loss this formula will work out for you so let's see this this is 100 into now see difference of uh, profit and loss 15 minus 10 is 5 minus twice of product of profit and loss this is 150 and in the denominator, you have 100 plus 100, 200. And profit minus loss is 15 minus 10, 5. So, plus 5. So, here you have the answer in the next step. This is 500 and this is 300. So, 500 minus 300 is 200. Upon 205, you can cancel it by 5. This will be 40 upon 41 percent and since the answer is positive here so if the answer is positive then obviously we have a profit so the answer for the first question is 40 upon 41 percent profit so since this is positive right so it is positive that means uh, I'll write it for you here that means profit percent is 40 upon 41 percent. So that is the shortest possible approach of solving this question in case where 
profit percent and loss percent are different see friends the use of this selling price we, here we have to use the selling price but in short trick only these two percentages will give you the final answer irrespective of the selling price now what happens when the profit percent and the loss percent are equal things get very very easy you can just put p and l equal here and you will have another shortcut so net profit or loss percent now you will be surprised to know here that this expression will reduce to a negative always when we have equal profit and equal loss so here in case of profit we can directly write loss percent whenever selling prices are equal and we have uh, some percent profit on the first item and same percentage loss on the second item then always we have net loss percent so you don't need to write profit or loss percent here you can just write net loss percent and how do you calculate that very very easy approach just take the square of the profit and loss that is uh, let's call this uh, this value as x so this will be x square upon 100 so here in this case this is 25 into 25 upon 100 625 upon 100 6.25 percent loss so this is a net profit or loss percent see short trick in case of equal profit and loss and short trick in case of unequal profit and loss now these are the two methods you need to remember in order to you know solve these problems very very easily in competitions and uh, save a lot of time so this i have encircled it for you you can take a screenshot of this a very very important question for all competitive exams and i'm sure this is going to help you a great deal in understanding these type of questions very easily friends if you like this video do share it with all your friends who are you know preparing for uh, all types of numerical ability exams and uh, looking to you know save time and uh, pursue all these questions uh, uh, with minimum number of steps and do not forget to subscribe the channel also and click the bell icon for getting notifications of all future uploads of uh, such important questions of competitions.